I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. Okay. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? I know that you don't watch much TV, but do you? None. (laughs) None. (laughs) I don't watch TV. No, I really, really do not watch cooking shows, especially because uh, my world is cooking. You know, I can't do cooking 24-7. The only one I've actually sat down and really watched was um, the Pioneer Woman's show on the Food Network, but I was at her house watching her show oh wow that was the only time i was there yeah so we were at we spent um it was nathan's 10th birthday at her house and so i'm like uh i think it was right after we got in a massage in the morning and then uh, turn on the tv and there's me i'm like oh <laughs> that's this kitchen right here it was kind of weird so that was the last cooking show i went and that was probably like three years ago oh wow two awesome. years ago yeah <laughs> number two what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about Oh my gosh, some of my favorite sites uh, um, that I go to, you know, like regularly to rely on, and this is not, you know, I, there, there are entertainment sites, and then there are sites that I just, you know, just rely on all the time. SimplyRecipes.com is one of the, Elise is one of my dear, dear, dear friends, and she started her food blog probably close to over 10 years ago, and so she's, um, her recipes are tried and true. If you want to know a recipe for uh, green beans or roasted turkey uh, or mashed potatoes, that is a site to go to. I love her parents. They are amazing people. Um, So I go to her, if I'm looking for a recipe, I'll go to her site. Um, And then there are a couple of new ones that I'm just just enthralled with, and uh, one of them is called Lady and Her Pup, Okay. I'm probably saying that wrong and her pup food blog. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Yeah, lady Lady and Pups and Angry Food Blog. She's Asian as well. She's Chinese. And oh my gosh, she's absolutely amazing. She's got a recipe right now for a sesame sesame noodle salad. The photography is just so uh, just draws you in and it's just so much depth and everything that she does. I've never met her, but I'm just I love um, looking at her her food. So those are those are two that I really love. Awesome. Definitely have to check them out. Number three, who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter that make you happy? You know, the funny thing is, uh, I used to be Miss Social Media. I used to be like the like queen of Twitter. I'm like a hundred and... I, don't, I started Twitter early on and I used to be all over social media. And if, if, if there was a, co- a food conference and they needed someone to talk about business and social media, they always called me and say, oh, <laughs> talk about this. I'm like, absolutely. I can talk about social media all day. Uh, and then about a year ago, I decided I quit. I quit social media. I actually I quit Twitter with like 100 and almost 135,000 followers. Decided, you know, this is not for me. Uh, I'd rather... Um, spend time with my kids than do social media with Pinterest with social media now it's more of a tool for me as a marketing tool rather than a consumption tool so I use those as business tools I think I'm on the computer entirely too long already so decided to quit Twitter Uh, use Pinterest if I need inspiration for some decorating idea I use Pinterest to market steamy kitchen um, they're a number two refer for 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 steamy kitchen so I use them to to, um, you make sure that people know how to pin and can pin the photos Uh, I've never done Instagram and with Facebook it's more like friends and family and private groups so I'm in several private groups and I host a private group um, for for food bloggers for coaching but uh, really that's that's really all I do you know my my day spent hanging out with my family and my kids and and quilting and knitting and gardening and just rounding out my life other than just being stuck in front of a computer or in the kitchen right right yeah I definitely I definitely know what you're talking about I'm social media can sometimes just overtake and sort of overstep that boundary into into personal too much Number four, what is something all home cooks should have in their pantry? You mentioned a couple of things earlier, like soy sauce, miso, um, oyster sauce, and things like that. If there was one thing that we have to have in our pantry, what would it be? Oh my gosh, it would be my homemade sriracha. Uh, It's so easy. You can make it in a blender and you can just leave it just like that to make make some um, hot sauce. Or you can just put it in a, a crock pot or even just a, on the stove top for 20 minutes. And the result is this rich, incredibly, incredibly complex 
um, uh, bright flavor that you can never get with something that you can just buy off the shelf. So I would say make your own. It's so, so, so easy. Awesome. Well, number five, name one ingredient you cannot live without. Oh my gosh. That's, that, that's a tough one because I, I'm like going through my refrigerator right now, <laughs> my mind, going through my pantry right now. Okay, right now, uh, it's not necessarily an ingredient, but it's something that I always have to have in my kitchen, and that's homemade beef jerky. Um, I, you know, we, I, sometimes I, I'm not a big breakfast person, and I'm not a big snack person, but when I get hungry, I have to eat something, and we've been uh, making our own beef jerky at home. Um, it's, it's my, you know, it's always there in the kitchen. I'm, I eat it every day, and it's healthy. Uh, I cannot live without that. Great. And number, sorry, number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? Hmm. Cookbooks with photos. I, like I said before, I'm a very visual person and I don't necessarily read, uh, but I scan really well and I look at pictures. And, um, you know, when I've got a moment, I will take just a handful, an armful of cookbooks from my library, sit down on the couch and just flip through them. And just the photos just really inspire me and make me happy and make, inspire me to get in the kitchen and, and create something. Great. And finally, number seven, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Hmm. You know, uh, there's this uh, movie called Big Night. And it's not even about Asian cooking. It's Italian. It's about a story of how these two brothers came to the United States and started this, you know, famous restaurant. And it's a must see for anyone who loves Italian for loves, loves movies. Uh, and that album from the, the soundtrack from Big Night is my favorite because it's fun. It's lively. It's got lots of instruments in it. It makes you want to sing and dance. And it's just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful soundtrack. So that's one of my favorites. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Jaden. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. Awesome.